Welcome to the boat that flies, the new age of America's cup racing. We're not floating, we're flying. We'll reach 60 miles per hour with no engine, traveling up to four times the speed of the wind. Lift is the same force a plane needs under its wings to take off and to maintain flight. We want to foil because pushing the whole boat through water is harder than air. Now, how do we get the boat up in the air and out of the water? We use exactly the same technology as an aircraft wing. Just as an aircraft wing will lift a plane up off the ground, the foils of an America's Cup boat will lift it out of the water. The foils on our America's Cup boats are more accurately called hydrofoils because they work in the water. The secret to both of them is the shape. Aerofoils and hydrofoils use their shape to guide the wind or water around them and generate the lifting force to get planes and boats up in the air. The wing is our engine and the force it generates to move the boat at breakneck speeds is thrust. It works exactly the same way as an aircraft wing. It's just rotated to stand up straight rather than lie down flat. As the wind flows over it, the wing generates thrust in a forward direction. An aircraft needs an engine to push the air over the wing fast enough to generate the force to lift the aircraft up off the ground. The wing sail on our America's Cup race boat generates thrust from their natural wind blowing past it. The harder the wind blows, the more I can catch to turn the thrust to push the boat forward. When the boat is going fast enough, the hydrofoils will then be able to create enough lift to get the boat out of the water. And there you have it, the boat that flies. <laughs>